Hey, how's it going? Uh, long time no see. I've uh, been away from social media for a while. I've had some, uh, some stuff going on, but I was kind of brought back pretty recently. Um, I was able to get some stuff done. Anyway, that's, that's a story for another video. Um, reason I'm here today, wanted to get this one out really quick. Dinner's kind of being made right now, so I gotta, uh, I gotta make it fast, but um, got this in the mail today from Matt Day, um, who I'm sure if you're watching this channel, more than likely you're watching his channel um, and you already know kind of his thoughts on this. This is the uh, Mint, Mint, Mint Camera InstantCon RF70 rangefinder. It's the Instax wide format. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy to see something like this. Um, I think this is what everybody's been really wanting for forever. It was a camera that could actually take advantage of Instax wide film. I mean, I think anyone who's seen uh, like digital photos be printed with the Instax share printer um, knows that Instax film it's a good quality film um, and the the big hurdle is that the cameras just they're not good enough uh, the, the Instax wide I've had a few of them over the years um, Instax mini same thing it's, it's just not a very good camera and so having something like this which is um, much much closer to a professional level camera or at least a camera with some amount of control um, is is kind of a godsend. Um, I've I shot one photo with it already. I didn't know it was going to get here today. I wasn't sure when it was going to show up. So really glad that it did though, um, so that I can use it for a few days here. Um, hopefully head up to uh, Olympic National Park with it. Um, but anyway, first thoughts. Uh, yeah, it's build quality is is nice. It's it's to be honest, it's far nicer than I was expecting. Um, the, the plastic is a good quality plastic. It has a good feel to it. The, uh, the, what is this called? This shows you how long I've been like avoiding cameras and photography. Film, the shutter speed selector, shutter speed dial, uh, has a nice feel to it as well. F feels and honestly looks like it belongs on a very high end camera. Um, there are lots of little details too. Um, things like how the flash just pops up there and then, sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed before I get yelled at to go downstairs for dinner. Um, closes down, folds into the top of the camera like this. You can see prototype A on the back there. Um, it's, a, it's a split image range fighter, is that what the term is? Um, essentially, you know, you, you have to look, it's more like the older Polaroid land cameras where you focus in one window and then frame the photo in the next. And it's top to bottom, um, you can see there that bottom window right above the LCD screen is uh, where you'll focus. And then the top one right there is where you'll compose the image itself. Uh, so focus, compose. And at first, I, when I first pulled the camera out of the box, I thought it was weird. I'm, I'm really used to you know going left to right, but you can, you can really see why they went top to bottom is that it's a really fluid motion. Um, the windows are very close together. Um, it's really ergonomic and really simple to use rather than going like this and smudging the back of your nose against the camera to focus and then having to move it over. Um, this makes for a, a, about as fast of a transition as I've ever seen with, with a two window rangefinder camera. Uh, lens, lens seems really nice. The, the coating on it, as you can see there, is, is really, really looks great. It'll certainly help with contrast, keep colors in check. I know with Instax, um, with Instax color film especially, uh, things can get a little kind of weird especially with the blue tints and so um i i don't have color in this i have the monochrome right now um and so i'm gonna get get that tried out here pretty soon but really wanted to see what the monochrome was gonna do with this because that's the film that i've been excited about for for a long time um yeah it's i i know pre-orders just went up uh for it and that they've pretty much sold out already at least for the first edition this one as you can see on the lens right there it says founders edition um, not a Kickstarter project, which I'm really happy about. Uh, there are too many people who are just way too reliant on Kickstarter these days. Um, so yeah, I, I like that. I like that Gary is just going for it. You know, he's, he knew what he wanted to make and he made it and it looks like he did a great job. Um, I'm going to shoot a whole bunch of film through this over the next 10 days or so and kind of see what I think. And I'll be posting probably a handful of videos about the camera. Um, really want to make sure that I do uh, dive into it deeper and go over some more serious thoughts about it than, than this, which is me um, pulling it out of the box 10 minutes ago.
Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching, um, and I'm sure I will see you here again soon.